What is going on guys? We are back playing some more Surviving with Astral Sorcery. And today we're gonna to be going over discovering constellations in the beautiful starry nighttime sky. Now I was actually very surprised to find out that this is one of the areas in Astral Sorcery people really tend to struggle with. So today we're gonna to be covering all the info that you need to know to get started with this and to complete it in a relatively timely manner, along with some tips and tricks to make your life a bit easier. So hopefully you don't struggle as much. Now, before we actually jump into today's episode, there is one thing you need to do, and if you've been following along with the series or really messed around with Astral Sorcery in general, you've probably already done this, but I want to make a note of it in case you haven't and you're a little bit confused as to why you can't do this. So, the first thing that you need to have done is have found the constellation papers that we have right here for the five bright constellations, and so the way you do that if you have not already is by going around to shrines, finding the chests in them, pulling out five constellation papers that will be unidentified when they're actually in the chest, but will reveal these five different constellations as you pull them out, and then you just shift right click with your astral tome, and you can dump them in there. Once you have this done, you'll see that you have this constellations tab and you have the five bright base constellations in here ready to go. Now in today's episode, we're only gonna be covering these five because these are the five ones that are known as bright constellations. There are also more that are considered dim constellations we will go over later, but we need to get these done first before we can actually move into that section. So again, that'll be another video. But these are the five base bright ones. Once you have these, we're good to go with today's episode. So thankfully, there actually isn't much that we need to go over today, or at least there's not much we need to craft for what we're going over today, considering we really only need two things, and that's going to be the looking glass and the telescope. And the way you can think of this is the looking glass is basically a worse version of the telescope. It's portable, it's a little bit cheaper, and so that's gonna be your really, really early game option. And then once you can upgrade to the telescope, that's your better option, it's a little bit more advanced, and it's actually gonna be required for down the line when we're finding the dim constellations. So we'll be going over both of these. We'll be starting out with the looking glass in case you do wanna start with that, and then going over why I think it is super critical you upgrade to the telescope telescope ASAP will do the upgrade and then we'll go over that too so no matter which one you want to use you'll know how to find it and you will actually be able to see me doing that since in a lot of videos people go over the theoretical way to do it uh, and then they don't actually show themselves doing it so that you can't see how to actually get it done so for crafting this again thankfully it's just those different uh block not blocks actually there's different tools and nothing else there's no additional setups required for it just a nice open area to work in so we're going to start out again with the looking glass and this is really easy to make it's just going to take a glass lens four sticks a piece of gold and any kind of plank you want so we can easily do that right here uh actually i'm getting ahead of myself what am i doing we need to craft the glass lens first uh so we're gonna do the four aquamarine and the glass pane i guess i'm getting a little bit too excited uh to actually craft this stuff up so there we go we got the glass lens and now we can do the looking glass and here we go we'll grab that okay guys so now that we have all this stuff crafted i went and actually used our new hammock from the comfort mod to make it a fresh nighttime over here so we have plenty of nighttime to work with and go over all this stuff but the first thing i want to cover is generally applicable to both the telescope and to the looking glass and so that is going to be when you're using these you need to be in an open area you don't want any trees around you buildings mountains anything like that as that's going to obstruct your view and you are simply going to get a black screen instead of actually being able to zoom in and see the different stars and constellations that might appear so that's the first thing you need a nice open area like we are in right now obviously this is not ideal um, but we should still be able to work with this the second thing is that these constellations are totally random. So you might have one in a night, you might have none, you might have three, four. There's a ton of different ways that they can appear. And because they're totally random, the reason you wanna start out early on is because you might double up and have the same one repeatedly night after night. The way that they appear is very dependent on the different phases of the moon. And as you see, when we open the astral tome and go to constellations down here, it doesn't actually show anything yet, but you can see the different phases of the moon depicted. Once we discover these, it'll actually show us the different phases they are most likely to appear during. So just a thing to note also with these that it is totally random or not totally random, but semi random since a lot of the time they're likely to appear during multiple phases of the moon. So you're going to end up waiting a long time to get all of them. 
So this is something you're not able to really sit down and do just in one go. You're probably going to want to do it over the course of a long period of time while you're either fiddling with other parts of the mod uh, earlier on or while you're messing around with other mods in a mod pack. So now that we have that out of the way, we can get stuff that's generally applicable just to the looking glass. And so this one is again, the inferior option of the two, but it's the earlier option. And the reason it's inferior is because with the looking glass, you are only able to see one constellation per night due to the fact that there is allegedly, according to the tome, magical interference between the constellations and the looking glass isn't able to filter it out. Only one of them is going to be able to appear as it overpowers the rest. So with the telescope, we'll be able to see all the ones available in the night sky that night. With this, we can only see one. And so you may be in a position where one you've already discovered is overriding one you haven't yet, making it very difficult. So just something to keep in mind, but now it's time to actually try and discover this. So once you have the looking glass in your hand and you're in an open area, you're going to simply right click. And as you look into the night sky, you will start to see stars all over. It looks like basically a zoomed in view and you can move it around. Now, you'll notice that as you get close to the horizon or any obstruction, it starts to turn black. That's just how it goes, as you're not able to obviously see stars right by the horizon or if anything's blocking it. But the method that I use, since you're basically able to turn 360 degrees to do this, is simply look all the way up and then we'll come down till it's black, move a little bit to the side and go up, move over and go down. And we will just keep doing this as we turn around to see if there are any of these instead of just totally aimlessly looking around. Now you can see we've actually found one right here and this is the perfect example. These stars that are for the constellations are like two times as big. They're very apparent and when you move from side to side you can see they move differently. It's like they're uh, laid in front of the background. So once you found these, if they are there after looking around, you're gonna wanna stop, right click, you're gonna wanna pull out your astral tome and again, try not to move. Then you're going to right click it open, open the constellations tab, and you're going to want to see which of these five right here, those stars appear to be in the shape of. And the way you can do this, because a lot of people have trouble again with this part, is try to identify key features of them. So does it have triangles? Is it more of a horizontal shape? Is it more of a vertical shape? Does it have squares? All those different things, big key features that could help you determine it. So if you guys didn't already take a look at that one, we can easily go back we can right click and we can see, okay, so it looks like it's got eh, maybe two triangle shapes and then a long line. So then if we come back in here and go to the constellations, well, that kind of looks like Decidia right here. So what we'll do is come in here and oop, I moved away from it. There we go. We'll hold down shift and then we will be able to actually hold down left click while we're holding shift and it will no longer move us but we will be able to draw lines. So you hold left click and drag and then let go. And you're simply going to connect roughly the stars together in the pattern that you saw in the constellations tab, just like this and the last one. And once we get it right, you can see right there, it connects it, it colors it in. And it says that we have now discovered the constellation Decidia. So unfortunately with the looking glass, that means we're done for the night. We can't find another one. There will not be another one in the nighttime sky, but a couple things to point out. Obviously people always say, oh, look for the flashing stars. Um, the stars in the background flash too. Look for the massive ones as you can see the difference here. And when you move on the screen, these in the constellation actually seem to move less uh, than the ones in the back as you move simply because like I said, it seems like it's almost laid in front of them. Like it's closer than the other ones. Um, that's a way people describe it a lot, but I've never actually seen it shown in videos. So that's how it looks. Um, but again, it might take a little bit of time to actually be able to sort of understand how to, you know, fill these in, um, and take time when you're looking to actually figure out which one it is in the constellation tab. A quick way around this, if you have trouble remembering what these look like, is to maybe do a snipping tool of these and put it on a second monitor or something so that you can keep open the picture of them while you have open the looking glass. But we obviously discovered that, and now that we've discovered it, it will appear in the nighttime sky when this constellation is actually out. So we may see it tomorrow night, we may not, no way to know for sure, but it looks very cool. I absolutely love this. And the sky starts looking pretty awesome once you've discovered a bunch of these. So now we've pretty much gone through how the looking glass works, which means it is time to upgrade to the big boy over here, the telescope. 
So we should be able to use at least the limited nighttime we have left to do this upgrade. So we'll come over to the Starlight Crafting Altar and we will click this in and then we will get out our telescope. And this one is gonna make our life a heck of a lot easier. So, oh, it takes a decent chunk of time to actually craft. Okay, so there we go. Now we have the telescope and what I'm gonna do actually really quickly is I'm going to sleep and then we're gonna wait and we're gonna use the hammock so that we have a fresh set of nighttime to actually work with so that we can accurately look and find hopefully some additional new uh, constellations. So we're gonna have to wait a second so we can actually use the hammock. Uh, thank you guys for the recommendation to add in the comforts mod. This is super useful, especially when doing stuff like this, since you kind of need to flip through day night cycles pretty quickly. For those of you who don't know, this mod simply adds in a hammock so that during the daytime you can lounge in the hammock and make it nighttime. And that's of course super critical for mods like Astral Sorcery that need it to be nighttime to do anything with them. So if you're in a mod pack, you might not have this, but you'll have plenty of other stuff to do. For me, if it's not nighttime, I'm pretty much standing around doing nothing. So uh, it's a little bit more useful and critical for me to have. So what we're gonna do is again, find a nice open area to work with now that we have our telescope and we are going to put it down right here. And it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, so what you'll do is once you place this down in the open area, you're going to be able to right click on it and we obviously have to wait for it to become a little bit more nighttime. As you can see, the nighttime sky is, is starting to appear. Um, but the way that this works is that and it looks like we actually might have gotten very lucky on the first try on this one, but I'll still go over other stuff. Um, the way this works is you actually have a fixed uh, sort of screen here that pops up. It's a little bit larger than the one with the looking glass. And all you're going to do is simply click left and click right to go through the nighttime sky. And as you click left and right, you can see the telescope itself actually rotates to the different portions of the nighttime sky. Uh, so pretty cool. There's only, I believe, eight different options. There's going to be the four different directions, the cardinal directions, and then one in between each of those. So as you can see, as we flip through this, it's a lot easier because you're not looking up and down and all over. But we actually have a bunch of constellations in here that have appeared. And then along with that, we actually have the one we just discovered. So what we're going to be able to do is go around and let's see if we can actually figure out what these different ones are. So this one right here, we can see that we have all these different stars. So if we open up our astral tome and go to constellations, which one do we think that one is looking like? I think it's looking like Visio, probably. So yeah, so it's probably going to be, I don't know if that's a bad line for the first one. We might have to redraw that. Uh, but it's looking like it's gonna be this one right here. Yep, so there we go. So I was right, it is in fact Visio. And so you can see we were able to discover one and see another one, even though we already have one discovered in the nighttime sky. So now we've discovered that, and so we have the Decidia right there, and Visio should be somewhere. It might be uh, by the horizon somewhere or behind that mountain. I don't really know, but it should be somewhere in the nighttime sky right now. Maybe I'm just blind, but it looked like we had some more in here uh, when we were looking around. So let's make sure we get those two. Okay, so right here, we have another one. So we can see the stars right here, and this one is looking like, let's see if I remembered it correctly. I think, I can't remember the name of this, but I think this bad boy looks like this. There we go, so it's Avitas. So I was actually right. Apparently I have super good memory uh, when it comes to drawing remedial shapes. Um, but there we go, so you can see that this one is so much easier to use. Well, we have another one. Okay, I think I know this one too. So this one is going to be right here. I believe we connect these and this. I'm super bad at connecting these, but we're going quick. And there we go. So we have Avorcio now. So we've actually found, I believe, oh, we have another one. Okay, so I think we're gonna be able to get literally all of them tonight, um, as we can see right here. But you know what? I'm not gonna be fooled. I'm not letting this guy ruin our night and come and blow us up. We will... Uh, well, oh, you know what? Maybe he's, oh, okay. This is really awkward. I actually kind of want him to walk up here a little bit more so I can get him easier instead of having to walk over to the edge. Uh, okay, so I think we have pretty much all of them except, uh, where is it? Except Armara. Uh, so that has to be the one that we're looking at right here. Uh, so that's going to be connecting these, connecting these, 
right here. And then what is it connecting these and drawing a line? There we go. So we now have our Mara. So we actually got all of them quickly discovered. And now if we look in the constellations tab, if we click on any of these, it's going to show us the specific nights that they are likely to appear, the different phases of the moon. We see that it's a bright constellation and we can see the ritual effects that will come with them that we'll go over later. So that applies to all of these. Uh, as you can see, they're all, you know, on different sort of, they're likely on different nights. And if we look through the nighttime sky now, we can see a bunch of them. They look super awesome and it looks even cooler again when we find more of them, but we actually got super lucky. Hopefully you guys all get that lucky when it comes to finding these. But that is the reason why upgrading to the telescope is super useful. Because if we only had the looking glass tonight, we would have missed out on pretty much all of those. So... That's pretty much it for today, guys. There's really not a ton more to cover on this. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post those in the comments. Again, I know people have a ton of difficulty when it comes to this, but just remember, look for the stars that move a little bit weird that are two times or more as big as the other stars in the background. And a couple things, I know that the background stars still flicker. Uh, people always say look for the flickering ones. The background stars still flicker too, so don't be confused trying to connect those. It will be so obvious when you come across the correct stars. They are It's so obvious that you're looking at it, and just please upgrade to the telescope to make your lives easier so you're not you know, aimlessly flicking stuff around with the uh, looking glass trying to find things. And start on this relatively early on so that you are not you know, spending a ton of time, if you're not lucky like me, looking for these things and, you know, not getting as lucky as you might otherwise be able to. So again, that's it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you later.